Hey, what's up, fam? We gotta talk further about Chainsaw Man. Like, it's... I don't know how the series this young is being this consistently interesting and keeping uh, keeping everything in such a, a, a strong flow of you know, information happening and starting and, uh, and just bringing in whatever is happening next. And what we got from the last chapter, obviously, ending over with with the fact that Makima has offered Denji that if he takes down the gun devil, then that is going to be pretty much a free ticket of whatever he wants from her. So, I mean, it's it's pretty obvious what he's going to want. He's going to want to, you know, get past that step of, of just feeling some boobs. He's going to he's gonna go for that V-card stamp. I believe in Denji. He can do it. But I thought the gun devil was just going to be some, like powerful enemy that he was gonna you know go and locate and fight and maybe he would maybe he would be that um that enemy that gets converted into a friend like there there's that in a lot of shonens and it's it's a very welcome trope but it feels more like he's gonna be the first like big hype boss like I don't, maybe not the big end villain or you know the biggest deal ever but he's definitely kind of like put out as one of the most powerful devils at least that they know of and just like the level of information around him is pretty crazy so like it it kind of went into it showing a uh, you know this kind of kid that he he wanted to play catch with his dad but they're like him his dad and his mom are like reading to his little brother and he's sick and he he's a little salty that his parents aren't spending time with him but his brother wants to spend time with his older brother and you saw like some good very realistic brotherly interactions of just like god damn it i didn't want to spend time with you and it's that frustration slowly turning into like actually you know having a good time and doing like you know just brotherly playing while trying not to act like you you want to hang out with him very legit but it got sad when he was like actually talking to his little brother and trying to be nice to him and you could see the the happiness on his face that he's like all right my brother actually wants to play with me and then he goes home and then the dude comes back and his house is just blown up and then it's revealed on 13 years prior november 18th that in 26 seconds the gun devil killed almost 58,000 people in japan and it's pretty intense like it's just a, a straight line like of destroyed buildings it's kind of like, um, I, I think the first thing that I thought of really in that is in One Punch Man when it's like the, uh, I remember the, the end of, I don't remember which arc it was exactly, but there was like that big pig demon monster and it was just walking f like in a line and destroying everything. It wasn't like making giant clash like areas, it was a little just a straight line of destruction. And then it just kept furthering down of like, all these different places it was at and only for a handful of seconds and in five minutes it flew to like all over the planet and killed over one million people so the gun devil is definitely a big boy and and this is like so talk about power levels real quick denji we saw him like fight against the bat devil and the the, the bat devil used that, that like sonic wave attack that no, it was like taking out like a fairly large sized building and Denji was still fighting. But the gun devil looks like for one, in under five minutes he's flown. He, he, he either flew or just like straight ran to or moved all over the world. And in only a handful of seconds and probably not a ton of attacks just blew up like parts of cities. And like it, the gap is, is pretty crazy. It's cool that we're seeing... Um, some of that upper area, uh, maybe not like the limit, like whatever the highest class of devil is, but definitely, a, you know, a big, big one. So, cause right now we've only seen, we've only seen a handful of devils and like ones that they just kind of come across and ones that seem more of like city nuisances, just like they're running around and they're maybe like in a building or two and they're just being, uh, problematic, even though they're killing people. It's like, yeah, they killed like two guys. It's shitty, but uh, problematic. And, and this guy, like, in five minutes killed over a million people in multiple locations on the planet. And, jeez, it just, it just feels like it's going to be something they're going to have to go way further down the line. Like, you're going to probably, it's probably going to be revealed that he's, like, just, like, straight the big boss for the first huge margin of Chainsaw Man. Someone really to get hype over. 
I mean, you'd really compare it to so many other big villains. Like, I guess if you, like, did uh, Bleach, the Soul Society, it really ended up kind of being Aizen or something. You know, something like that where it was just a character, even though he doesn't look like we're going to see much of him for a while. Because, like, how they're going to find him and how they're getting kind of, like, revealed of, of their plan for it is his bullet casings. Like, it's either his bullet casings or straight parts of his body, like, probably both, that they find. And if you touch one of them together they like merge and they, they believe that uh if they find enough pieces together they're gonna like slowly like meld back into like a piece of him or uh maybe try and locate the main one and that's kind of interesting and weird at the same time but not only that it's the fact if a if one of the devils eats or just straight intakes one of these bullet casings they get stronger so it's kind of like the uh if you've ever read urataro the or um kometsu no yaiba or you have um you had the um oh God, i can't remember the girl's name in urataro or muzan in kometsu no yaiba where you have these characters who if one of the demons drinks their blood they get like an automatic boost or in uh, jutsu kaisen if somebody eats one of uh sakuna's fingers you got that for this bullet devil and probably more powerful devils in general and maybe that's how they're going to have like you know subordinates and you'll be able to empower them to, to fight for them definitely going to be interesting to see how that goes i was really hoping to see maybe like a glance at this gun devil maybe we'll get it within a handful of chapters because it definitely feels like he's going to be something they're going to work towards because they're definitely going to be like looking around for these bullet casings to uh, you know work back towards their their plan of, of, of hopefully trying to locate wherever the hell this guy is. But even after that, the chapter didn't end on a... Just like a hype moment on that. But you also got a really cool part with um, Aki where he... Showing like, you know, that kid as he saw his house get destroyed. Or obviously showing that that was him. And probably going to have something to do with... Uh, we're probably going to get some more of his character itself. I mean... Definitely going to be something to look for. Definitely going to be something to look for for his character. He so far seems all right. Uh, I don't have any negative or real positive opinions of him. I like power to a degree, and obviously I like Denji. We haven't got a lot towards a lot of the, uh, the side characters. We've really been getting a lot of Denji. But I'm definitely open to see like what this character is like, what he thinks about, you know, how he came in uh, a contract with that uh, cool fox devil. Like, that dude comes from like some other dimension or some shit. And even keeps one of the bullet casings uh, on a necklace. And it looks like he's going to have some really interesting uh, character, like, flesh out in this arc. So, look forward to it. Like I said, it's been hype. There's been a lot of really hype chapters this week. Like, Fairy Tone and Black Clover are both really hype. But Chainsaw Man, like, this is a really good layout for a villain, too. I, I wouldn't say it's the same level of hype, but it's definitely one of the better villain like introductory hype pieces i've seen in a while where it's like, the whole bit was literally just to say like this guy's a big deal and it, it at the same time you're getting like a a little bit of a lore dump at the same time and I, I thought that was really good so tell me in the comments what you think about this chainsaw man's hype is just growing everyone that i've like i show pictures of of, of chainsaw man to people and they're like this looks really weird and then they check it out and then they like it i haven't seen anybody who's negatively like talked about chainsaw man after reading it so definitely thumbs up for it and i'm hoping that it uh i'm hoping that it goes strong on the on their service on the shonen jump service and people get more into it like please add them to jump force give this guy an anime like it's chainsaw man is so interesting other than that like i said comment below on what you thought about this and if i appreciate it, if you'd thumbs up the video befriend the like button and the subscribe button and check out my other videos but other than that i appreciate everyone who's already subscribed and i thank you all for listening bye